Start using Claude 3.5 artifacts to improve your website ranking. With this free tool, you can add interactive elements to your website or blog pages, and this will get you more backlinks, lower your bounce rate, and improve your rankings. With Claude, you get way better results with way less effort. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribers to the channel are passionate about SEO and staying ahead of the curve. All right, if you're not quite sure what the link is between interactive content and SEO, I'll quickly explain it. Basically, as outlined in this article here, interactive content engages the site visitors. We put something interactive on the site, whether it's a quiz or a game or an infographic. When they interact with it, one, they may backlink to it, and two, they're going to spend more time on your site. Both of these things are really good for SEO. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a couple of interactive elements and put them onto your website. All right, lean in. This is really important. If you do not have this experimental feature enabled, none of what I'm going to show you is going to work. So when you click on this little icon, you should see artifacts and it should be on. If you've done that, we're good to go. Alrighty, so I'm thinking we develop a game like Wordle, and to do that, we're just going to ask Claude to develop the game for us. We're going to tell Claude that we're using Webflow. Now, if you're using WordPress, you can add in WordPress here. We'll go through that. And we want a modern design, and we want our colors to align with our website. So I've got this prompt here that you're welcome to, to copy. So it says, provide the code for a Wordle style game that I can embed. The design should be modern with rounded elements. Provide instructions for adding the code to Webflow. So this is the preview of the game. It's not quite what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe just type in the word, the five letter word and press submit rather than having a keyboard. So we might ask Claude if it can actually alter that for us. I just want Claude to update it. So the input is a text box, uh, not a keyboard, and also to move the elements closer together. So it is a little bit more compact. Let's see what happens. You can obviously iterate this until you're happy with the design and the functionality of your game. I'm going to say for now that's okay. I'm probably going to tweak a few things up before I actually implement it. The important thing to note here is when you're happy with it, just toggle over to the code button and press copy so that you've got the copy of the code to embed onto your site. Just before we go and embed the word game on our website, I just want to show you a couple other tips and tricks if you're going to build something interactive for your site. So when you're asking for your interactive element to be built, you can specify you know, the code. So here I'm saying using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, can you generate the code for the basic snake game? Okay, so you can see Claude and Artifacts has generated the game. Now it's looking super basic. So what we can do here is we can ask for a more modern design and we can also, and this is really important, we can ask it to add controls for when it's being used on a small device. Okay, so to be honest, not a massive fan of what it considers to be a modern design, but if we have a look at what it says it's done, it's made it a modern design it's responsive, and also it's added here, number three, this is what we're looking for, the mobile control. So as soon as the screen goes more than 600 pixels, it will add the control so this game can still be used. All right, so this is the Ambitious Hub website, and I have modified the, the word game a little bit more just to align with the style. You can do that in the CSS if you're familiar with it. But anyway, it's looking good, and it works like you might expect. I can put a word in here and press submit, and you know, no surprises here. It just works like you would. Now, this is pretty cool. People come to the site. They're looking around. They're probably going to have a game. They spend more time on here. Sends the right signals to Google. And that's why we're doing all of this. If I go over to the admin panel, all you need to do is basically add a code embed element. In Webflow, you just hit this add element. And I've typed in code to filter it. And drag and drop your code embed element onto your page. And then when I double click on it, you just get this box. So this is the code that's come from Claude. You basically just paste it in. This is your CSS elements here. You can just modify these as you see fit. If you, 
it's all pretty straightforward. And then I just hit save and close. Now you'll notice in Webflow, it will not render when you're actually in the back end, but as soon as you publish it, as you've seen, it does appear. I've also got the other game as well. So I can hide, I can hide this one and I can show this one. Now this is the snake game that I had done previously. And I've had many comments in a previous video asking how I actually embedded it. So here it is, exactly the same method, grab the element, paste it in. And now if I publish this, we can swap over to the other game. And now we have the snake game. I'm over in a WordPress demo site here just to show you how you can add a code, a HTML element, so that you can render your game on the page. It's important to note though, when you do generate your game, tell Claude what platform you're going to be using and it'll generally generate the code and give you the instructions required. So if you just hit the plus button, I'm just in the standard um, page builder here. And I'm gonna search for HTML. And you can see this custom HTML element. So I'm just going to add it on here. Now I've copied the code. I'm just going to paste it in. Once once it's in here, um, we can see that it's going to work just by hitting the preview. So that was the snake game that we, we came up with earlier. And if I just click in here, I can actually probably have a game. That's how you do it in WordPress. There are other methods. You can get Claude to generate the code in JavaScript and install a JavaScript plugin. I haven't had any issues adding it to the various platforms I've tested it on. If you do have any problems, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you guys out. If you got some value, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one.